Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PS5 video. So it looks like the wait is finally over for case stuff on firmwares 5.x. Particularly 5.10 was the first firmware that got released. So we saw a post here from Zeko where he posted out the download link for version 5.10 of case stuff. Now the other firmwares are being ported. So by the time this video goes out, they may already be available. If not, it won't be long before those firmwares are also supported. I believe it's just offsets that need to be ported to the other versions at the moment. So it will eventually be ported to 5.02 and 5.50 and any other 5.x firmwares that potentially exist. So we can hopefully expect to see all 5.x firmwares get support very soon for PS5 K stuff. Now this is all thanks to a number of different people. Of course you've got Zeko, you've got Echo Stretch, you've got Buzzer over on Discord and of course Zeko's mysterious keys friend. So all of those guys are to thank their for getting this up and running on 5.x firmwares. So this basically brings 5.x firmwares up to the same level as 3.0 to 4.51 for the most part. Uh, obviously we will need ETA Hen to get support as well. Obviously I'll make a more detailed guide once everything is complete and everything's been streamlined and once we have K stuff properly integrated into ETA Hen as well. So that will all be covered fairly soon. So K stuff on its own will allow you to do things like run PS4 fake packages and certain homebrew applications. And of course, once it's integrated into ETA Hen, you'll also be able to use it to run PS5 game backups as well and use it to run things like the homebrew store and items flow. Um, you might be able to actually get some of that stuff working right now, which I will show you here. But generally, it'll be best to wait until everything has been fully integrated. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at this here. So what I'm going to do in this video is first of all, show you how to load case stuff, especially if you need to load it yourself by sending the payload manually, mainly because as more firmwares get added, they will probably not get added to the exploit host immediately. So if you want to run these test builds as new builds are being produced, then you're going to have to inject them manually. So we're going to take a look at that as well as how to load them normally, of course, from the web browser. So if you don't have the UMTX exploit already set up on your 5.x console, I do have a video that shows you how to set it up, so I'll leave it down in the video description. Assuming you already have that set up and you're able to access the web browser, you can head over to the UMTX exploit. Now if you see this message when you open the exploit host that says it's downloading a new cache, wait for that to complete and once it says it's finished, you then need to refresh the page. So of course whenever case stuff gets added to the exploit host, it will need to recache the page. And so when you see that message, that might mean that K stuff has then been added or ETA hen, an updated ETA hen potentially with K stuff has been added to the exploit host. So you want to make sure you wait for that to cache and then refresh the page and then you can run the jailbreak and let that run to completion. And if you see a PS5 K stuff option in here and maybe even an ETA hen option in here, then that basically means that the K stuff must have been integrated and you'll be able to just run them directly uh, from the browser itself, which is what will happen once it's been, you know, fully integrated. But of course, if you're running this early, where we don't have the options to run uh, K stuff or ETA Hen inside the web browser right now, then you can inject the payloads using Netcat GUI. So if we switch over to our computer here, I can take the K stuff payload that I downloaded and throw it into Netcat GUI. And all you have to do is, of course, enter the PS5's IP address in the host box here. And the port number is 9021. And then you can inject the payload and that will run case stuff on your PS5. So there we go. It's now up and running. OK, so to test this, we can put some PS4 fake packages on the root of a USB drive that's formatted in XFAT format. So we've got a few things here, Minecraft, PT, and then also we've got the package file. Well, that one really doesn't matter because that's got nothing to do with case stuff. But yeah, we've got PT, we've got Minecraft, and we've also got a PS5 homebrew application. So we'll throw those on the root of a USB here, eject that USB and plug it into our PS5. And then on our PS5 here, we can go over to settings. We can scroll down to our debug settings, game, click OK to that message and go down to package installer. And then we can just install all of these package files with K stuff. And this should allow us to install them. Now, technically you could install fake packages anyway on 5.x firmwares but we just were not able to run them without case stuff, although we should be able to run them now. Now for full transparency, I am running this on my 4.03 system right now because I don't actually have a console that is on a 5.x firmware, but the steps are of course exactly the same here since we are essentially taking 5.x up to the same level as 4.x firmwares now. So yeah, let's take a look at this. Let's try and run Minecraft. 
And if it loads successfully, then you do in fact have a working version of K stuff on your PS5 if you're able to load your PS4 fake packages. So that's Minecraft successfully running. I'm sure PT will be the same. Yep, there we go. You can see the little icon blinking there. So that is also working. And then finally, we can try a PS5 homebrew application like PS5 Explorer. And in this case, you can see it says waiting for ETA Hen. So ETA Hen is required for most uh, PS5 homebrew applications uh, that are run using K stuff. So because of that, what we'll need to do is run ETA Hen. Now it is actually possible, I believe, to get some homebrew apps like PS5 Explorer working even before ETA Hen gets official K stuff support. I believe by loading ETA Hen first on your 5.x system, uh, making sure it's the new pre-release build, the ETA Hen 2.0 version, which you can inject from Netcat GUI on port 9021. You basically inject ETA Hen first and let that load. And then once that's loaded, you can then inject the PS5K stuff payload next on the same port. And by doing that, it should be possible then to load PS5 Explorer and uh, maybe other homebrew applications as well, although that is not recommended at the moment. Obviously, the best thing to do right now is just enjoy PS5K stuff. And then once, of course, ETA Hen gets integrated with K stuff, which probably won't take very long, you'll then be able to use items flow in the homebrew store from ETA Hen. And you'll also then be able to load your PS5 game backups from items flow as well. And then 5.x will be fully up to speed and on the same level essentially as 3.x and 4.x. In fact, maybe even in a better position because any PS5 game dumps that are not working on 4.x and 3.x right now could probably run on a 5.x firmware with K stuff. So you'll have access to potentially more PS5 game backups than on previous firmwares. So yeah, definitely exciting times. And of course, it'll be interesting to see if this can also be ported to 6.x and 7.x firmwares in the hopefully not too distant future. Obviously, there have been some new security measures implemented on those higher firmwares. So we'll have to see if that presents any kind of issue there. But eventually we may see PS5K stuff all the way up to potentially 7.61 in future. So yeah, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. Again, I'll do a proper guide once everything's fully integrated. Obviously, we're still in the very early stages here. It's just been released. So that is why obviously things are going to be changing quite frequently here. So I just want to give you guys a quick rundown on how to get it set up initially with these new test builds. And then once everything is fully integrated, we'll have a proper guide uh, that goes through how to set everything up in detail. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this one or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.